In other news this evening, the Sanibel community a bit safer tonight thanks to the generous donation of corporate Bahamas. Carla Palmer tells us more. It may be small in size, but the work that the newly small Nissan Marsh will do is significant. As members of the Centerville Community Neighborhood Watch Council conduct surveillance patrols in an effort to deter crime in that area. The new vehicle, a first for the Centerville constituency, turned over to Crime Watch Council members this Monday. Area Member of Parliament, the Honorable Jomo Campbell, made the presentation to Chairman of the Bahamas National Neighborhood Watch Council, Kino Wong. We all know that the labor is indeed great, not just in Centerville, but in the Bahamas. But the truth is, the laborers and their resources are few. So whilst this may seem like, you know, just a car, I can guarantee you it's a very big step and a long road. Uh, the fight against crime, the fight for social and neighborhood development is not a single effort. It's a team effort. And we have the true realization of that here today with this partnership. And with that being said, I'd just like to take this opportunity again to say thank you to Mr. Wong and his association and to all of our corporate sponsors that participated in making this event here a success. On behalf of all of us in the Neighborhood Watch Council, we appreciate this wonderful gift. The donation was made possible by two leading business establishments in the community, Bahamas Bus and a Truck and Modernistic Gardens. General Manager of Bahamas Bus and Truck, Ben Aubrey, says he's privileged to have made this invaluable contribution. We're very invested in this neighborhood. Our group of companies has been in this area now for about 60 years, and it's a wonderful community, you know, but it, it, like other communities, you do have your challenges. And, uh, you know, the minister has been very helpful with us as far as, you know, when we do have incidents or upticks in incidents in the neighborhood. He's somebody we can reach out to and speak with, and he's always happy to try to address that for us. So when the opportunity came up for us to give something back to the community and to also uh, assist with the efforts, um, you know, we, we were very happy to get involved. Police Superintendent Davi Pratt, officer in charge of community policing and neighborhood, cautioned members of the Neighborhood Watch Council against transcending their assigned role. If fighting crime is a team effort, and how can we do it? We must do it together. Um, the persons who uh, uh, will be patrolling this vehicle, let me warn you all, you all are not police officers. Please, um, your motto is to look watch and report that is what it's all about don't get out there put yourself in harm's way if you see something look suspicious get on the phone call the police call your liaison officer and they will assist you as best as possible there are reportedly 160 neighborhood watch groups throughout the country and officials are hoping that this gesture is duplicated for the bahamas tonight i'm carla palmer